Hello, in this video we are going to have a look about uh, the vector shapes inside AppCooker. So the vector shapes they are available here. We are going to concentrate on the customization options available in, uh, in the, for, for them. So the line tool is pretty straightforward. You can rotate it like this. The orange guides are again this snapping options located at the bottom of the screen here in the property bar when nothing is selected so i'm going to keep that up so you can see i can move them around and you know beautifully align them when i want so i can change the color of the stroke so i'm going to move a bit like this so you're going to see better so i select the line then i can change the color of the line like this and i can also change the stroke aspect so as you can see, I can make it like thicker if I want. I can also add the dash and space. And I can, with this option over here, mirror and link dash and space, if I disable it, I can make the space bigger and keep the dash smaller. So that's sometimes pretty convenient when um, when you want to do something like a track or have some, you know, uh, for example, maybe we can go four like this and four in this thickness. And it's like, you know, squares, little squares. So that's pretty cool when you want to divide a screen or make a, you know, separator or something like that. When I've done that, I can here in the bottom of this place, I can here tap the plus button and this will save it and this, you know, this, uh, how to call that, uh, library of aspect, of stroke aspect. And I will be able to use that later on any shapes in the entire project. So all the screens will share this particular library of stroke aspect. So that's for the line. Now let's have a look at the square options. So the square options, I look at the bottom of the screen here I can change the corner radius so for example I'm going to go for 40 which is kind of you know extreme corner radius but looks like an icon something like that I'm going to as you can see I have the stroke aspect um, options over here so I can put it on I'm not going to do that I'm going to stick with the black one and in the fill option I can use a solid color over here as you can see it's solid color or I can use a gradient a vertical gradient I can use a vertical gradient with three colors as you can see I can move the color up and down like this okay and you can change the color you select one handle over here in the palette mode in the in the gradient you, you select one color and you can change it Select another color, you change it. Select another color, you can change it. And I'm going to take the stroke and change the color of the stroke and give it something like that. And it's pretty neat. So I can, I'm going to make the, the stroke a little bit lighter, a little bit light, more like that. Yeah. So if I want to fine tune the color, I can either use the RGB like red, green, and blue, or the hue saturation and brightness and this is my preferred choice when i want to give it like more saturated color and bring it a little bit more like this and that's pretty good so now i can also take the shadow and i'm going to put a shadow on i'm going to select this one by default and i'm going to move it a bit down like this okay, move it like that so i make the blur a little bit bigger I can also change the color of the blur so I can have this blue or this orange and let's have this yeah this kind of uh, orange dark blue yeah make it like uh, it's not you know it's uh, glowing something and as I was able to save one stroke type I can also save in the shadow palette, I can save this shadow. Oops, it's not working. Okay, sorry, just a little glitch here. So I can save the shadow color 
going to do that like that. And that's pretty good. I can also do that with my fill color, with the gradient. I can keep the gradient. If I want to go back to a solid color, I hit the solid color. And then I can change it like that with an orange and do pretty much what I want. So that's for this uh, square. This shape here is the rounded square. So it's a square with a corner radius by default. So this is pretty much exactly the same thing as, as this one. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to customize, you know, your, oops, your stroke. So I'm going to go into a bright red over here. I'm going to change it to that. I'm going to take this. That's, and that's pretty good. Now the circle. So this is an oval, but it has some pretty unique features. So I can... As you can see, you can change this to make some pie charts. Okay, so I can move that like this. And you have to play a little bit with that and you'll see it's, uh, it's really handy, really cool to, to play with, that, um, with those options. I'm gonna go back into the here at the, at the bottom, the color palette, which is my favorite choice when uh, when I do that, so I'm going to change the color. I'm going to take a gradient like this. As you can see, I can also change the gradient to a radial gradient. So with the radial gradient, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reproduce um, a famous gaming character, which is Pac-Man. So looks like that, yeah. I'm going to take another circle over here. I'm going to reduce the size. Now I'm going to remove the snapping options so I can move it freely like that. And I'm going to switch the color. So this is the meaning of this uh, little arrow. I'm going to switch the option, put no stroke, and there it is. We have Pac-Man. Um, the triangle, there are two types of triangle like uh, you know this kind of triangle and the isocell triangle rectangle uh, triangle sorry um, on both of them I can change the corner radius which can be kind of useful when you want to design something like a you know like pay attention or warning you can make a warning like very easily you take black fill you take a red stroke you make it like super wide like this. Then you take the text option, do like this, and make it like super big. No, it's not enough. Like, uh, let's go for 80. And there you go. You have this, you know, this icon, and you've made it in like, you know, very quickly. So this is like, you know, the triangle, but it's a rectangle triangle, so it's pretty uh, uh, the same thing. So now, now this is uh, the lozenge. So it's not a square. It's a square, but it's lozenge. So you can't do that with a square. <laughs> so when you need it, it's here. And those two here and here, the star and the polygon, you can add some edges so I use that um, when I want to make something like um, I'm gonna take the radius to like 80 or even more like uh, 85 and I'm gonna add some edges so I can make some kind of uh, how to say that sorry patches no it's not a patches but you know you, you know what I want to do um, it's like you know when you when you're the first you have this kind of uh, gonna bring back the snap to guide then I'm gonna change the size and since it takes the center I can change the color I'm gonna take a gradient I'm gonna change the gradient I'm gonna take a blue ribbon like this I'm gonna change the stroke color great now I'm going to lock this Take the one that is behind, put it also in a gradient, 
change the color just to like that oh, that's a bit too much like this i'm going to change the stroke and there it is i have this kind of uh you know thing that you may use for stamples or stuff like that and finally the polygon so i can have this hexagon okay and i can place it like that so that's it for the the vector shapes you can do pretty much everything you want to do except you know the complex uh stuff like you know you want to subtract one shape with another this is not the purpose of akuka you are in a mock-up editor so you have to go fast you have to go the fastest way possible to get ready and start coding the best the best you know the best app thank you for watching see you next time